Hi, welcome to this uh, tutorial on cross-currency handling within the reservation system. In cases where clients deal with multiple currencies, these currencies need to be set up in the system and then the conversion rate between those, that is not the official rate but indeed your own conversion rate, needs to be set up in the daily exchange rate as indicated now between those different currencies. Bearing in mind that we are either going from dollar to uh, ZAR and then we'll have to set up the reverse again from the ZAR to the dollar exchange rate. Having set up these daily exchange rates now between the currencies we also need to proceed to the default settings to enable the system to control the cross-currency situations. Let's have a look at that screen. Let's look at those defaults and we'll go to the financials and here we can see that we can set various items for the system to handle exchange rates. Here we can set the default expiry uh, number of days for that exchange rate and then we can save daily exchange rates, allow updates or show the most recent rate if the current date has not yet been captured. In addition to those we can also nominate a specific environment to handle and manage exchange rates. In our particular case, we've set it to the WebSA. These settings then complete the second side of enabling the system to manage your exchange rates. Please also view our tutorial on a default settings financials tab for further information on these exchange rates. Now that the system has been set up to handle exchange rates in our preferred manner, let's have a look how it works in practice on a reservation. Looking at this scenario now, we have a reservation in dollars and we're going to add an extra and let's add extra and assume that we will do not property specific, we'll make it an activity and we'll go into RANDs cross currency and how many units? One unit and the system now comes through and it's got an exchange rate and that exchange rate expires on the 9th of October. So that's preset now and we can save that and see that extra has been added as a peninsula tour and it is converted from a ZAR into USD. We hope you found this tutorial on cross-currency handling in ResRequest useful.